As you might have guessed, the word electrolysis has to do with the use of electricity to do something. In chemistry, electrolysis means the use of electricity to break down a compound into its elements. Something you might not have known is that electrolysis was an important technique that was used in the discovery of a number of elements, including potassium, which was first discovered in this way. Also, electrolysis is used in industry to isolate and collect a number of elements, including chlorine, which is collected sometimes by the electrolysis of sodium chloride. So let's look at an example of electrolysis. In this case, the electrolysis of molten or liquefied lead bromide. First of all, you need to get two conductive materials and connect them to a power supply. These are then charged one negative and one is charged positive. At the negative electrode, there is an accumulation of electrons which pile up there and they start to repel each other and attempt to try to jump across the gap over to the positive side. But they can't do that in, in solid lead bromide because there's no way for the electrons to flow from one end to the other. In order to get things moving, you need to heat up the, the lead bromide and turn it into a liquid state. Now once you've done that, the ions can begin to rotate and move around. And once they can move, they will attract to the corresponding electrodes. Positive ions, the lead, will attract the negative electrode. And the negative ions, the bromine in this case, will attract the positive. As they do so, at the negative electrode, ions will stick to the negative electrode and gain electrons. They will neutralize the ions and turn these ions into neutralized lead in the form of liquid, which would fall to the bottom of the test tube. At the positive electrode, the bromine would collect and lose electrons and turn into bromine gas. Once this is done, then the current can begin to flow again. More electrons will move into the negative electrode and more electrons will flow away from the positive electrode. So this is basically how electrolysis works. I hope that's helpful.